In 1960, over 2% of the U.S. population were Mexican-American, over 3.5 million people. But many felt unwelcomed in a white-dominated society. So some Mexicans born in America, known as Chicanos, turned to the arts to express their frustration and reassert their cultural identity. The Chicano art movement of Renaissance emerged with the Chicano movement in the 1960s and 70s, a social and political campaign to reclaim Mexican-American history, culture, and ideas. It saw visual artists produce work that was both politically charged and culturally affirmative. Inspired by the work of Mexican artists who believed that art could act as a vehicle for political and social change, Chicano artists painted murals directly onto public spaces using bright colors to make bold statements about the everyday struggles of Mexican Americans. As such, Chicano art can be viewed as a form of protest art. Feminist artist Irena Cervantes created work that celebrated heroic Chicana women and challenged gender stereotypes. And Carlos Almaraz created powerful political posters for the United Farm Workers Movement, a labor union that fought for the rights of Chicano field workers by educating and mobilizing a new generation of Mexican American activists. The Chicano art movement helped bring about positive, lasting change, such as the passing of the Equal Education Opportunity Act of 1974. But the Chicano art movement never really came to an end. Today, Chicano street artists continue to express their unique culture experiences and identity, while exhibitions of traditional and contemporary Chicano art have featured in some of the country's most prestigious museums. How is public art uniquely positioned to help bring about social change? 